I never imagined I would be painting what I'm, I've been painting. The only colors that I see are black, which is the only color that feels representative of the reality. I'm a Palestinian artist and author of Cities Burn. I was born and raised in Gaza, and in fact, I came to London in the 6th of October. I was in Gaza for my sister's wedding. My life has changed forever. Although what is going on is so difficult to speak about, I found myself having a bigger mission of having to convey what is going on. That's why I've been speaking less and painting more, because I do feel that uh, painting and drawing is more my calling and my voice. I started painting like these days in 2014. I was with my family in our house and we've lived through 52 days of uncivil bombardments that has taken the lives of so many people, including my neighbor who was killed in, in such a horrific and graphic way. So the way I started sketching was self-expressing my trauma, but now it has become more uh, about making a statement and not a weak statement, but a powerful statement of someone who has the right to stay in Palestine, to stay in their lands, to be who they want to be, and to ask for their human rights because we deserve a life so as many, so as everyone who lives in this world. The painting of birds are so brutal. It was people who were forcibly evacuating from the north to the south. When journalists were asking people, how was your way from the north to the south? The testimonies were how birds and dogs were eating the bodies of the dead, killed Palestinians that were not allowed to be buried. Because if you bury, it's, it means that you will get shot by the sniper. So many, many of these dead, killed bodies that you see have been decomposing because they could not find anybody to bury them given the intensity of the bombardments and attacks. So these birds have eaten us, the Palestinian, and they flew so high. And in this title, may the birds that have eaten our flesh land in your window. There is symbolism of breaking the siege, how the birds who have our fl flesh inside them travel across the countries that we could not travel through because we've been living under blockade for 16, 17 years and we could not leave but our bodies left in such a horrific way. This time I do feel that my work is unapologetic. My work now is made instantly to document what I don't want to forget. People think Gaza is a separate world or something, it's, it's a different planet. But guess what? Gaza is just a few hours, four hours from you if you live in London. Gaza is just so close to you and it's the same world as you. So a world where 7,000 or 8,000 children get killed, it's not only the Gazan world, but it's also your world, the world of your children. <laughs>